Africa is endowed with vast aquatic and marine resources. The continent counts 38 coastal states and many island states such as Cape Verde, Seychelles, and Madagascar. The daily lives of millions of Africans are intimately linked to seas and oceans, with many depending on fisheries, aquaculture, seaweed farming, port activity, and coastal tourism for their livelihoods. But global warming, combined with overfishing, pollution, and other human activities, is putting marine ecosystems under severe stress. This is fueling coastal erosion, flooding, ocean acidification, and extreme weather events. The decline in oceans' health is already affecting millions of Africans, threatening their habitats, livelihoods, and food security. Today, it is vital to devise sustainable and equitable ocean solutions that prioritize the livelihoods of the millions of people living and working in coastal areas. On the front lines of the climate crisis, some African island states have already embraced a blue economy approach, providing inspiring models on how to restore ecosystems and adapt to climate change. For example, after the Seychelles adopted its Conservation and Climate Adaptation Trust in 2015, marine protected areas grew from 1 to 30% in just five years. Many coastal habitats and ecosystems were rehabilitated, including mangroves, one of the most productive and biologically diverse ecosystems worldwide. The Seychellois were empowered through robust science, customized loans, and innovative business models. Today, they are in the driver's seat of the blue economy of their archipelago. Oceans are also intimately linked to African history, identity, and memory, as they shelter a cultural heritage of great value. Shipwrecks, artifacts, ancient monuments, countless traces of humanity's past existence lie on the seabed. The valorization of such submerged heritage provides long-term opportunities to coastal regions. It can reconnect societies to their shared history, stimulate urban development, and create opportunities for sustainable tourism. UNESCO, together with the National Museum of Kenya, is training archaeologists from 16 African countries to harness the cultural, educational, and economic potential of Africa's underwater heritage. How can we enhance the contribution of underwater heritage to dialogue and sustainable tourism? What kind of support do small island developing states need to tackle the climate crisis? How can Africa accelerate the blue economy momentum and tailor it to the continent's various contexts?